What do Spencer Lee and Vincenzo Joseph have in common? Interesting question, I know, uh, because of course, Spencer Lee is a 125-pounder and Vincenzo Joseph is a 165-pounder. I found this topic interesting because there are a lot of similarities between these two. And first, I'm going to tell you what is similar and, and the good similarity. And then I'm going to tell you one upsetting similarity. And so let's, let's just talk about that. Now, similarities between these two, both two-time national champions, both wrestle for Big Ten schools, multiple-time Pennsylvania state titles. They're both Whippeal champions. That's the region that each of them wrestled in. Multiple-time Powerade titles. And they both wrestled for Young Guns at, at, at points. So that's, what, that's the similarities between these two. Now, the other big similarity between these two are that even with all these accolades, neither of them has won a Big Ten title. Neither of them. I know it, it's 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 kind of hard to believe that neither of them have won a Big Ten title. Now, I'm going to say discuss why not, neither of them have won a Big Ten title and if they could win a Big Ten title this year. Now, I think they both are strong favorites to win uh, national nationals this year, but Big Tens could be tough for both of them. So in the past, we've seen Spencer Lee uh, come out in his freshman year and some of his toughest competition had a couple losses on that season but his toughest competition was against nato nathan tomasello of ohio state that wrestled in the duel when Spencer Lee won but at big tens that's whenever nato beat Spencer Lee in the semifinals and ended up dropping down lee to the cons he's ended up coming back taking third it was a 2-1 loss and it was interesting as he actually beat Sebastian Rivera in the semifinals, beating him by a major 12-0, which is hard to believe nowadays with how these two have been wrestling kind of back and forth. Now, later at Nationals, he did end up avenging that loss and pinning Nato, which is a similarity again between Vincenzo and uh, Spencer Lee, which I'll get to in just a minute because they both avenged their losses at Nationals with a pin. Now, in 2019, uh, just last year, Spencer Lee wrestled Sebastian Rivera. Of course, he had a loss to him earlier in the season at Midlands, but they wrestled again at Big Tens, and Spencer Lee lost again in sudden victory. Sebastian Rivera was the victor, kind of on a controversial hands-to-the-face call, which I still kind of call BS on. I'm not a big fan of that rule. I don't think a lot of people are, but Sebastian ended up coming back, winning that match, uh, but Spencer Lee ultimately ended up winning the title. And then in 2020, that's this year at Big Ten tournaments, especially he's going to see competition from Brock Hudkins of Indiana, Michael D'Agostino of Northwestern, uh, Patrick McKee of Minnesota. I think all these are you know, going to give him a little bit of a match, but I think ultimately Spencer Lee has a very, very, it's I think it's his strongest uh, chance to win a Big Ten championship that he's ever had. Now, on the opposite side of that, we have Vincenzo Joseph. Vincenzo Joseph, who has been constantly I shouldn't say constantly, who's been beaten down in the past at Big Tens, just hasn't been his tournament. Um, wrestled great seasons, wrestled great nationals, but just hasn't been his tournament at Big Tens. Uh, first of all, in 2017, his first time wrestling Big Tens, he had a loss to Imar in the semifinals, 8-5 to five loss. He lost earlier that season also in a duel. Now, what the great thing about that is that that year, that's when he ended up pinning Imar in the national finals uh, after defeating a couple guys like Daniel Lewis of Missouri and Logan Massa of Michigan. A great national tournament for Vincenzo Joseph, but just didn't quite get there at Big Tens. The following year, uh, he lost again to Imar, this time in the finals, lost 4-1, to one, but he did wrestle again in the national finals whenever uh, Vincenzo Joseph did ultimately win that. And then last year was whenever he wrestled Marinelli at Big Tens. And whenever he wrestled Marinelli, he actually he kind of lost pretty big. He lost 9-3. Marinelli just kind of handled those overhooks, handled those throws. Um, but Chenzo ultimately placed above him at the national tournament and ended up making the national finals three years in a row. This year, he will have Marinelli again. He will have Isaiah White at 165 as well as Evan Wick. Uh, he's just going to have a stacked up Big Ten uh conference championship and i think it, it the competition will be a little bit tougher for him than Spencer Lee. this is a topic that i thought was just a little bit fun to talk about because uh, you know get, getting to talk about two great guys two great wrestlers and i think it's uh exciting to talk about that